Survive Episode 12, Where Memories Live. I'm Joe, please subscribe to this channel. And just like that, it's over. I wasn't a big fan of this episode, and I think the way it ended sort of tanked the whole thing. At least made the whole thing go from something that could have been good to something that was uh, She's in and out of consciousness. You know, again, the cool fading in and out trippiness. I mean, there's a good visual style to this show, that's for certain. She's able to say what she, her name is when they find her. She's able to say, Paul, where's Paul? And then she goes under after they give her some morphine, I guess. And she has a dream sequence. Daddy putting her to sleep and talking about memories and memories live in your heart. It's really emotionally manipulative, as you would imagine. That's where I misinterpreted something. So I have to go back to my episode 11 review. For some reason, I thought she had a compass. I was mixing up my television shows. There was a compass given to one of the characters. She had a stopwatch or she had a, a pocket watch that she was listening to. Anyway, when she dropped the pocket watch into the river and didn't pick it up, it wasn't sim it was symbolic of her letting go of the memory of her father and letting go of the blame she held for her father. The blame for the father's suicide on her being suicidal. That's what that meant when she dropped the watch and didn't pick it back up. Because that was the whole point of her dream sequence. Her letting go. Her realizing that it was... She could have the power to change the whole time. And a shot of her holding hands with her younger self and I can change and you can change and we can all change wakes up her mom's there Where, where's Paul Paul's dead he was able to scribble out a note in his dying moments to Jane about how her heart would go on and, and it was just so at that point I just lost it it's just like you know I, I like the show the show was good. The show carried me through the first 10. Then the 11th episode, it murdered a wolf. And then the 12th episode, it just ended. They could have pushed this out a few more episodes. That's what I, that was my impression. Again, it looked beautiful. But at the end of this episode, while it looked beautiful, it was stupid. The last shots, them on the same mountain, hugging in nice clothes during a montage of the moments they had together. The few times they smiled at each other. It was a montage of her reliving the good times. The good times during the plane crash. So I just. It just felt like it just. It, the ending was a miss for me. The ending was a total miss for me. And because the ending was a miss. The series ends up being a miss. And it calls into question. What, what was this show anyway? It feels like it was a bottom of the barrel. Scraped up. Pilot or movie or something that should have been direct to Netflix, direct to DVD back in the day. It was 90 minutes in total, I'm imagining. It wasn't a two hour feature, it was a short feature. It just ended up being a miss because the end ended up being a miss. Potential better ending. She wakes up, but she doesn't wake up in a hospital. She wakes up surrounded by hillbillies ready to rape her. And she has to get out of that situation. And the season ends on a cliffhanger. And season two of Survive carries on with her getting away from rapists. That would have been better. They left on a cliffhanger and set up a season two. But no, that's the end? There's no, there's not gonna be a season two. This was just like, what was the point of this? Did they run out of money? Is that why they, they truncated the end so much? I don't know. I'm ranting now because I feel like I invested so much time. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a disappointment. That's the funny thing. I didn't invest that much time. It was a short investment. Every day, a few minutes. My clips I reviewed were only a few minutes. So at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. I liked the first 10 episodes. The last two let the whole thing down. I guess you can call it emotionally manipulative at the end. The, the way it goes, it went... Uh, that's my final thoughts on the series. Hoping that 
most dangerous game has a better ending. So far, 50 States of Fright hasn't been that bad. Let's hope that Reno 911 lives up to all I hope it will be. And I hope you enjoy these videos. Please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Joe.